So let's take things to the next level with tags. A useful way to think about tags, at least to start with, is that they can be a tool, place, person, or event that needs to be there for something to happen. For whatever it is you're interested in doing, whatever that task might happen to be, you need something to make it happen, something to make it move forward. That could be pen and paper. It could be a phone. It could be the office. It could even be a mindset, like being in a creative state of mind. What tags work best for you will more than likely be a work in progress, something where you decide, oh, I have another way I want to batch that work. Just start somewhere and know that you'll likely change things around, and that's fine. So here... For the dining table, I'm going to select the tag area and type the word home and hit command enter. This task has now been assigned a tag. Now all of these tasks happen to be at home and I want to add the same tag to each one of them. This is one place that the inspector can be handy. I can select all three of these by holding shift and selecting both the first and the last one. To open the inspector, remember you hit Option, Command, I. Now the inspector might look daunting. There are many things that one can do here. But rest assured, you can get into these at your own pace, and once you have them down, you'll be able to quickly and smoothly set things up the way you want them. You'll see only what you want to see and none of what you don't. That said, let's just dip our toes in with making group adjustments, adding a tag to a number of tasks at once. I select here and type H, and it already brings up Home as a suggestion. OmniFocus remembers the tags I've created. I just need to hit Return, and all of them now are assigned Home. Now the second project I have might be a bit more complex. I'm going to go there now. Opening my sidebar, I can select the other project, close the sidebar again. I'm going to do several of these with my laptop handy, because I like to type up my notes as I read. I'll select this. I'm going to assign different tags to these different tasks. For these, I want to have a tag called read. I'm going to write it down, R-E-A-D. Command Enter to create it. And now I have a new tag called Read. Now for these, I want to write these out on my laptop. Holding Shift, holding all these down, I'm going to create a laptop tag. Command Return creates the laptop tag. And these two, I want to do at home. And there it is again. Now to get to our tags, we can either use the sidebar and select tags, or use the key command, command three. Remember, inbox was command one, projects was command two, tags was command three. I'm gonna close the sidebar in the inspector. We can now see all of our work separated into what we need to make it happen. If you're at home, you can do several things here. If you're at your laptop, you can do more there. And if you're ready to read, you can start over here. So you can simply begin work at one place, do all the things that are connected with that place at one time. That way you can be more focused with the here and now, knowing full well that your other work will wait for you, organized at the other places of your life. You can churn through what you need and not worry, oh, I forgot to do that one thing while I was there. Now, one of the most important things that we can do when we organize our tasks is to remove things that are not useful to us now. We want them to be away from us for the time being while we're focused on what we can make a decision with. And then have those ideas come back to us when they are useful. The more invisible they can be when we're not ready for them, the better. As an example, let's adjust some of what we've got already. Let's see how we can 
get our projects and tags to streamline a little bit better to help us focus on what we want to do. First, let's go to our project view, and we can get there with Command 2. I'm going to look at this project that's in front of us, Study Chilton's The Wealthy Barber for Study Group. I don't want to read all of these chapters at the same time. I can't. I want to focus on one thing at a time. That means that each step has to happen in order. Let's make that happen. First, we can select on the project itself, and we can open our inspector with Option-Command-I. We can select right here the option for sequential. When we select that, you'll notice that all of the tasks that we have after the first one become gray. That means that they are no longer available. They'll become available one at a time as we complete the work. As an example, if I mark this complete, this one suddenly becomes active. I'll leave this undone for now. When we return to our tags using Command 3, we can see much less on our view. All I have listed is to read the preface.